We're joined by Ryan Williamson for today's half interview. Ryan, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? All good. I'm good. Um, we'll start by looking back a bit. Um, you're one of a few players that were rehabbing injury during the league suspension. Can you tell us a bit about the, the background of that injury and how you were looking after it during the break? Um, it was a little bit difficult, actually, um, just because obviously I was getting pain in the, the same area of my thigh um, that I had my tear at the, at the Christmas sorry, last year. Um, and then, but I couldn't, obviously, I got a scan and whatnot, and it wasn't... Um, I wasn't quite getting to the bottom of it, so it took a while, a wee bit of trial and error to, to try and kind of solve the issue. Um, and I ended up getting a scan um, on my on my lower back and we kind of worked out from that that it was, it was coming from a, a problem in my, my lower back. Um, so I needed a, an epidural injection just to kind of kick things along and, um, as I said, just to, to, to help ease the pain and and, and trigger that nerve root that, that, was, that was causing the issue going down the centre of my thigh. So it's... Um, it's, it's certainly done a trick and as I said, I'm, it was a tough period, but I'm just glad to be back and, and feeling good and feeling fit. And what kind of stage were you at when the return to football accelerated at the start of March? Um, what stage was it at? I hadn't, I, when did I get my injection? I was at, that's was a couple of weeks after my injection. So I was in, I was in the gym and I was just about to start running, I think, if that's right. Start of March. Yeah, so I was, I was, I was just kind of doing my gym work, doing my rehab stuff, working hard every day getting towards, as I says, that running stage and back to taking a ball and that. So once I got the go-ahead, knowing that I wasn't far away, it was, it was kind of music to my ears. It just kind of gave me that extra bit of motivation to, to make sure I got myself back fit. And how cautious were you with coming back to the football side of things? Was there quite a lot of that running stage or was it quite quickly going from there to contact stuff? Uh, it was quite quickly, actually. It was really quick, the kind of transformation, as I says. Uh, I'd done quite a bit of pitch work, yeah, and running, just changing the direction, striking the ball and because I wasn't having any issues, all my gym work was good. I was, it was it kind of made the transformation easier because there wasn't any doubts I had in my mind. So getting back into the contact um, and the full training because the games have, I've been knowing the games have been coming that fucking fast. It's it's been put to the back of my mind, and I've been able to just focus on on the football side of things. And obviously, we've also had a new physio in Jordan Cleland. Uh, you've been working quite close with him as well in this period. Yes, he's been as I says. I think he came in. Did he come in the day I got my injection? So. John's been spot on since he's put me through my rehab after that. And um, yeah, he's been brilliant. I can't speak high enough of him. Any queries in that. And um, he's been there to been there to answer him and give me peace of mind and whatnot. And he's, um, as I said, he's been really good. He's worked hard with me every day. We've, we've been in doing our, even when I've been back um, training and involved playing and whatnot, I've been still in seeing him to keep him on top of my, my mobility and my activation work with Jordan. So he's he's, he's been really good. And your major return to the team in the 3 0 win over Cowden Beef in the Scottish Cup. It was over three months since your last game at that point. How good did it feel just to be back playing football? Oh, it was brilliant. As I says, it's as a football, that's that's what you want to do. And then obviously the, we're having a break. It, it took that that privilege away from all the all the all the boys and obviously with my injury as well. I would I would have missed out anyway. But uh, it was just great, as I said, it was a it was a long time. I think it was the 18th or 19th of December was my last game. So to get back out on the pitch on the fifth hill and as I says, get, get stretch the legs again. It was it was a great feeling and uh, I loved it. And as I says, the the result in the clean sheet and foot in the next round that it, it topped off a, a really good night. Yeah, you played about sixty five minutes in that game. The same was true at Erdrionians, and then you played the full game in midweek against Forfar. Is it just sort yeah. of about building that fitness and sharpness back up? I definitely like it's kind of an old cliche, but footballers will say, like, no matter how much running and, and training you do, there's nothing like match fitness. So I've been, as I said, coming into games and whatnot, going back into full training, I was feeling fit. But once you do go into games, it's it's a completely different type of fitness. And But I'm feeling I'm feeling good. As I said, I like what, you, like what you said there. Sorry, I got six, two sixty-five and 90, so I've, I've steadily built it up. And I feel like I'm getting sharper, getting fitter, and I've just got to kick on and, and keep doing my best for the team when called upon. And you got an assist for Scott Tiffany's second goal at Airdrie and then also an assist for Brian Graham's equaliser against Forfar. Obviously, that's a part of your game you pride yourself on, so you must be pleased with that. No, absolutely. I think there's no, it's no kind of hidden secret that that's the, the biggest, my, 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 my biggest probably aspect of my, of my game is, is getting forward and creating opportunities and putting balls in the box. So I'm glad um, in the last two games I've been able to contribute to goals. Um, I've been in quite a lot of kind of 
uh, what's the best way, kind of good opportunities throughout the season. And that I've, I've not managed to have an assist yet, so to be able to play the duck and, and, and get that against Airdrie and then kick on and get another one that night, it was, it was a great feeling on a personal level. Just a shame, obviously, we couldn't get the couldn't get the back to back wins in the league, but um, we're, we're working hard to, to rectify that and, and put things right on. Um, well, it'll go, on, it'll go on Tuesday now. And looking back at that four for game as a whole, what do you think wasn't quite right that we weren't able to really perform to our full extent? Um, I think we had spoke obviously a lot before the game about the start we made against Deirdre and conceding the other goal and we made put you on the back foot and it gives the other team a left. So we had spoke before the game about trying to kind of rectify that and then when you go out and you lose a, a goal within two minutes that immediately does, it puts you on the back foot and it's it's, it does make it so much more difficult. It makes your task a lot harder. Um, and I think throughout the, side of the first half, especially where we were poor, we were maybe too open defensively. We didn't deal with their longer balls. And we were just, we just, although we had a good spell after we scored, we thought, especially the last kind of 10, 15 minutes before half time, we were a wee bit over the shop and we didn't play, get the ball down and play the game that we know, know we can and we know that we're capable of. Um, second half, obviously, we were better. We put a lot more pressure on, but we're, albeit we still left ourselves open defensively but we were pushing to get that that winning goal once we got the equaliser and unfortunately it just wasn't to be but we know ourselves we've got to be better we know what we're capable of we know the quality we've got in the dressing room so we've just got to keep the keep kind of charging on keep positive keep a positive mindset, mindset sorry throughout the squad and I'm sure we'll put things right Yeah you mentioned that it's conceding an early goal um, again in town that gives them a boost is it just sort of a concentration thing at the start of a game just try to get a better start Maybe it's one of them. It's, you, we should be concentrated. Though it's just been I. I don't know if it has maybe been maybe a wee bit of slackness. I, I don't actually. I can't put my finger on it to be honest. But at the end of the day, it should be happening. We've got to. We've got to. You've got. To, I think every football season you want to start the game right. You can start the game on the front foot. You don't want to give any teams a little unnecessary lift. So early on, and we've done that in the last couple of games, and it's made things harder for us. Obviously, Saturday we we came out. Um, we have deserved winners, but. Again, you look at Kieran save just before we scored the scored the equaliser. That goes in; it could be a different game. So we've just got to rectify those little errors and those bits, of, those moments of slackness. And if we can keep kind of doing what we're doing going forward, then as I say, it's just like what we're on the second half on Saturday. We're so fluent and creating loads of opportunities. If we, if we tighten up things up again at the back, then we'll, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll score goals and it'll, it'll stand us in good stead. We equalised initially through Conor Murray, who's now got three goals in three games. Is he starting to show more consistently in matches what he's kind of been showing in training all season? Oh, definitely. Conor, we, we all know, every one of us in the change room knows what Conor's capable of. He's, as I said, he's a very good, very effective player. Yes, even in training, he's a nightmare to play against. But as I said, I think he's, he has been sharp. It's just been a case of just, it's one of them when you, when you know it's been coming. So, for the, as I said, the last, the last three games, he's been... He has. He's been. He's been. He's been brilliant. Probably our best player. So we've all known Cape Connors capable of that. I mean, we're delighted that he's he, he's hit a, a really good run of form, which will be a, a very important stage for the team. In that second half, we got the equaliser through Brian Graham, and and then after that, it sort of seemed to be quite an open game. With obviously they had the bar late on, but we had a few half chances as well, and it seemed to kind of go both ways. That was wide open. He says that like we're going. But obviously disappointed with the defeat by Kumi Moss, as he says there. For, uh, for, for, sorry, uh, just they, hit, they just put one in the top corner when they hit the underside of the bar a couple of minutes to go. It was we knew we were wide open, but it was one of them at the same time we were, we were kind of trying to do everything we could to get that winning goal. But it could have went anyway. Anyway, it was one of those, it's not an ideal situation. You don't want to leave ourselves as open as that defensively. Um, but in the end, we all we know the other night wasn't good enough as, as an all, and uh, we just need to get us dust ourselves down and make sure we're ready to go again and against United in the Cup on Saturday Yeah and after we had a disappointing draw against Cove at home a couple of weeks back we then sort of put that behind us with a win in the Cup is it just looking to try and do the same with a good performance at Tannadice? Ah, of course it is um, Saturday we're a hard game we know that but at the same time we know it's, we know it's not a winnable tie if we go up there and we, we work it's all about attitude if we, we keep the head down and work as hard as we can we play together as a team, then we know we're capable of getting a result with the quality we've got in the dressing room. So we just need to put the other night in the packet that's done and concentrate on Saturday's task. Thanks very much for your time, Ryan, and good luck for the weekend. Not a problem. Chris, pleasure, mate, as always. Thank you very much.